Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Hoping that you're all doing good. Hoping that you're great. We're gonna be talking about Tehofato Mabasa, who says, "Good see." You know, yeah, it's a bittersweet. Uh, you know the results, but he says that uh, people will see what we are about. They will see. So pirates is gonna improve. We're gonna be back. According to U Mabasa, we're gonna also look at Linda Mdambo, who has come back to haunt Orlando Pirates, and he dedicates his Man of Damage accolade. Let's start with Figo, former Orlando Pirates midfielder. Yeah, hey, I know. Uh, what a, a great performance from him. What a, get, a great performance from Dambo ever since he returned from injury. You know, I talked about him before the game and how he has been contributing in terms of the goals and assists at Skukune. And yesterday, there was no exception. He did exactly the same. He says, Guti, since the resumption of the league after AFCON, we've been working extremely hard as a team. Now it is five wins in a row and we keep going, you know, uh, going at training to push harder and focus on the next game. It's just a collective win. When the coach came in midweek and he said, I'm going to play you as a false striker, I'm going to change the whole structure and play you as a false nine. Did you believe me? You know, uh, do you believe me? I said, oh, coach, um, you know, oh, well, uh, the team comes first. I'm there to play the role and look at what it did for us today. I got an assist. I got a goal. So you get that, guys. Pirates uh, <laughs> was confused a bit there. There was a change in, in the structure and, and how Skukun United usually go with how they use Um Dambo. And it was a shock maybe to Pirates and the way that they prepared because he was playing as a false nine and he got a goal. He got an assist for it. You know, he says, Good to see my son is turning seven years old on Monday, which obviously will be tomorrow. You know, Upiano, uh, the team first, um, you know, team first for the performance, the technical team, the fans that have come out in numbers, the management, just everyone associated with the team. But this accolade is for piano happy birthday in advance my boy so he used he took uh, the, the, the accolade and dedicated it to his son well done linda uh he's been amazing it's not many players that return from injury and perform that he's been performing and the way that he has ever since he came back and yeah it goes back to those questions how did we let go of figo uh i never understood that i was also hurt when he left but it is what it is it's one of those players who come back and hey uh, Tevavaso Mabasa takes positive from the loss of Orlando Pirates. He says it's a bittersweet feeling. You know, it was a great game of football from our side, especially with the amount of opportunities that we got. It's just unfortunate that we could only manage to bury one. I think if we can cont continue to play like this, the more people will see that uh, what we are about as a team. And we will continue to collect points and continue to strive as well. I know that it did not happen in this game. It is football. One of those days, you know. But we played well. We just need to continue taking our chances. Unfortunately, playing such a big team, we don't have time. You know, for such a big team, playing for such a big team, there's no time to lick our wounds. You know, we have to get up and continue to give it our all and work hard. Hopefully, we rectify our mistakes and get three points on Wednesday and next Saturday. But we take it one game at a time. Wednesday is our next game and we will be ready for Morocco Swallows. Wednesday at half past seven, Orlando Pirates will be playing against Morocco Swallows. All the best to the packs. And indeed, Tejofaso Marabasa is right. You are playing for Pirates. There's no time to cry. You must just get back up and focus on the next game hopefully pirates will get back to winning ways as this was their first loss for this calendar 